air bag goes off, you're gonna get launched. <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need airbags. <laughs> there are a lot of people just crowded around Eluned here. Quick, use the ejector seat. <laughs> going, going. I see that you decided to heed my advice. In fact, Eluned, I did not heed your advice. What happened was I walked up and talked to him, and he gave me a job to do. So screw you. I'm too lazy to carry these people. You do it. There's one thing I regret to inform you. Though we wish to inter your comrades on church grounds, the number of fallen scions far exceeds our estimates. Do you not have enough graves, Doug? Is that my next mission, is to dig graves? If you ask me to dig graves, I'm leaving. Offer a prayer at the marks of the warden. Okay, good. Good. I need to get more water. I got more water in the form of cider. I just want more water in the form of water. Not sure where we're going. No. I don't know where Roger's going. What are they doing right there? <laughs> Quickest way to a place is a straight line, he says, in the midst of sl slaloming across. No! You monster! What? You made it so I had to unfollow you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm consistently going the wrong direction because I missed the turn. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, fun, Roger. <laughs> Luna Nightfall. Loads of fun. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, is it this way? Yes. We're getting very close to this shiny crystal. Interacting with the mark of the warden. Cutscene. As you kneel before the mark of the warden, in a moment of quiet solitude, you breathe deep of the dry desert air. You choke on its crumbling dust. The roar of the rushing waters is punctuated by the faint chirping of vilekin and the shrill cries of a hawk. The gods, however, remain silent. Oh well, we tried. We have to go back to Elunid. <laughs> what? Get in the car. No. I don't know why you're complaining. He hasn't almost killed you every time he decides to fall off a cliff. <laughs> Bye. 
died, man. Terrible. <laughs> Why did he leave the party? He kicked oh. me. <laughs> <laughs> I did not leave voluntarily. <laughs> that seemed pretty voluntary to me. It said you were you left, didn't it? There's gotta be a faster way to do this. <laughs> like that guy's at the point of the black mage or the thaumaturge where they use little sticks. <laughs> what are you talking about? Little sticks? Who? He has a shield and stick. Kassara. I can't see them because I'm talking to Elunit. You have honored the dead with your pilgrimage, Bex, even if Azima, even if Emphysema did not hear your prayers. Emphysema. <laughs> Remember that although the body is but a vessel that must one day be surrendered to the live stream, our souls shall endure, and the righteous shall find solace in Dahl's realm. Although we can perform rites for most of the scions, there is one whom we cannot accept. We would like you to return this one to her people, the Sylphs of Little Solace. It is only proper that she be given into the care of her friends and family so that they may mourn in accordance with Sylphic traditions. Here's the flower. You son of a bitch. To the black shrewd. go up to them we're just all like listen we didn't kill it we also it. didn't save it yeah it offensive i don't recall them ever explaining how to tell the difference between male and female selves or even if there are male and female selves Th then they 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 would be for a group of them. This one is surprised to see walking one in Little Solace. How can these ones assist walking ones? Hands over dead cabbage. Oh. Noraxia! But this one does not understand. Kamuxio, this one has heard such wailing. This one would know what has caused such distress. Terrible news, Elder One. Awful news. Walking One has returned to Little Solace, but why? These ones have not requested further aid. Noraxia? How did this happen? Explain everything to this one at once. Fade to black. So not only Noraxia, but many of Walking One's friends were lost as well. Noraxia went to Thanalan at the behest of this one. Walking one was with Noraxia at the end. Tell this one that Noraxia was brave. Uh, she did suffer, but was brave. This one demands vengeance. Imperial ones must pay. Imperial ones must suffer. 
That sylph's gonna summon Ramu, isn't she? Roger, did you run off and heal this person? I will be, yeah. As soon as I remember how to make a waypoint. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna report them. <laughs> are, you, are you? No, I have no reason to. How dare they? Die. How dare they steal my healer? <laughs> Jacks only report for R and T for some reason. The what? R and T? R and T, remote uh, transaction or whatever. It's the thing they uh, save for using money to buy items. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna report Steve for using money to buy items. Fantasia doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't specify. Fairly certain uh, they would. Ah. Ah. Do 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 do. We thank you for your service to the church. You may be pleased to know that in your absence we interred the remaining scions in the lichyard. I assume that's not how it's actually pronounced, because otherwise I assume that means that we're just going to bring them all back from the dead. Huh? So I assume it's not the lich yard that I've, I've, I'm pronouncing it wrong because if it's the lich yard, then my thought is that we must just be burying them and then they rise from the graves. Mm, I don't know. I think their version of the Grim Reaper is called the lich. I think that's just what it is. It's just. Oh, shit. What? Oh, there's the, uh, I finished up with Elunid, and I couldn't see a new story quest uh, nearby. <laughs> what the fuck do we do now? Pretty sure Marquis now wants his. Yes. The problem was just that he didn't show up on the map. Marquis believes he's being watched. I'm not imagining it, Bex. I know I'm being watched. No, no, not the girl. I know about her. This is different. Sinister. As if I am under observation. And the, so the, the big reason is this is a location. So my guess would be that that's I-I-C-H-Y-A-R-D and not lowercase l. Mm. That would make sense to me. Yeah, there's a lot of weird words. Itchyard. Interacting with the grave. I am being watched. Some of the FC just said, I've got 300 commands, but I still need to do 400 more dungeons before I can become a mentor. You need to do 500 dungeons, which means he got all three commands for 100 dungeons for him to hit 300. I think he's bullshitting. He might be bullshitting, I'm pretty he's sure. Done. I've done like 600 dungeons, and I'm only at 250, and I've been tanking for like, since I installed the game. I have like 320 something. 
I mean, like DPS. Metal to, uh, that, there isn't a good thing that tracks how many dungeons you've done. There's ones that tracks how many high-end dungeons you've been in. But not every dungeon instance. <clears throat> not sure what he means by he needs to do 400 more dungeons then. You need to do 500 dungeons to get Mentor on top of 300 commands. Yeah, but something should track it then. I'm not sure what he's looking at then. Well, we kind of killed him, Marquis, so we can't even ask him what he wanted from you. Maybe you should have told me to apprehend him and not to kill him. Meh? Sacrifice for murder. Heavens forfend! That such a thing should happen on holy ground. Do you have any idea who this man was? No, I was told to kill him. Uh, I took his sword. This is Galleon Steel. Which means the man who was watching Marquis was... Make haste to Drybone! What the... That's not helpful. The insinuation if it's a Garlean weapon, it's a Garlean person. Oh, by the way, the girl with the pistol arms, she was a Garlean as well. It does make that fairly obvious. That's not me spoiling anything. Shh. I might be the first to speak with you. Would that I had been so fortunate. Sorry, there was suddenly a cutscene that had voice animation or voice acting. I didn't realize that was going to happen. <laughs> continue before I continue. Uh, the girl with the pistol arms. It's explained through a bunch of other things that I don't know if you really noticed that she was a Garlean as well. I so, don't. Garleans are mildly the bad people, for reasons that you haven't been uh, privy to yet. Isn't that where Biggs and Wedge came from? No, they're from the Ironworks. They worked for someone who was a Carly. Okay. Biggs and Wedge are themselves Garleans. Okay. At ease, adventurer. I come not on behalf of the Empire. On the contrary. I mean to revive the scions of the seventh dawn. And to that end, I have come in search of a legend, the greatest engineer of our time, Master Sid Garland. I oh, he's Master Sid. I fear Surprise. you are mistaken, child. He is but a poor soul who bore witness to the horrors at Carton. <clears throat> I beg of you, leave us in peace. Wait, I... Oh no, he's dying! Look what you did! Hear me, Sid. Eorzea needs you! Quick, Sid, make it to the bottle of rum. Remember who you are. Maybe a second blueberry muffin will not get loose. <laughs> Sidna, remember who you are. His voice actor is all over the place. It is time for you to help those who truly need you. Your service. Wow, what a name. As a scion of the seventh dawn, I stand against our primal and imperial foes. 
as my grandfather once did. Tis no secret what befell our order at the Waking Sands. Word has already spread across Eorzea. The repercussions are far greater than you realize. In the wake of the Calamity, the three city-states focused their efforts solely on reconstruction. Leaving the Scions to combat the primal threat unaided. And lo, we are all but destroyed. Yet even as the nations mourn our demise, and abandon what little hope they have left, we cannot forsake our duty. Now least of all. <laughs> the Ixal have Thank you, Roger. Once more, no problem. And she torments the people of Kirthus as we speak. Oh. To Garuda! M -m -m my Garuda. We're already fighting Garuda? Well, Garuda has been summoned. I don't know if we're heading there already. Our Baldessian colleagues believe she surpasses See, 574 and less than a 50% ratio on getting a commendation. Less than 50%. Were we somehow to defeat Garuda? You have a greater than 50% and you're a black mage. The other beast tribes that even their mightiest gods can be felled. If we are to face our foe, we must first circumvent the tempest that shields her sanctuary. Okay, so first we're gonna fight a tempest, then we can fight Garuda. And for that, we need an air. Who's a tempest? Your <gasps> Alpha no. Or is it Ali's air? No, it's Alpha no. Have an airship? I know. <laughs> yes, Sid, you do. He's joking. Your very own airship. It was last seen in the skies over Gridania. Not long before the calamity, so let us begin our search there. An, an airship. My airship. Oh, wait. Wow, I was not expecting that haircut. <laughs> Matt Mercer, is that you? Come, let us put an end to the primals. Together, we will show the world that the Scions are still a force to be reckoned with. It's high noon. Now I wish I had the Sid outfit. He's got a holy hand grenade around his neck as well. I'm a little worried about this scenario. One, two, five. Three, sir. Now where are we going? I still don't, I don't, I don't have the next quest. Uh. Uh, may I guess Gredania? Are you sure it's nowhere around here? There's nobody here offering a main quest. There's a bunch of side quests. Uh, you gotta go to He Who Waited Behind. Click on the main scenario button up in the left-hand corner. What oh. the fuck is that? Oh. I forgot that you can do that. Yeah. Wait. Huh? It says it's here. Oh, you, he has a side quest and a main quest, probably. Oh, yeah. Oh. I remember that fucking thing. You gotta talk to him and grab the non-side quest. Uh, well, you're talking about Iliad, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, well, wait. I'm gonna grab his side quest first. Oh, it, there's a he who waited behind. It's locked. Oh, I'm not, What's I'm not high on? enough level. I have to be level 36, and I'm only level 35. Oh. That's why it didn't pop up. Uh, here, I, that makes sense. Real fast. Oh, uh, no, we can't. Why would we be able to fix that really fast? What? You just gonna? Uh, I was gonna suggest us doing the leveling roulette, but I'm not the party lead, so I'm not allowed to. Oh, 
on the fire league now. Yay! You did it. I don't. Oh, hang on. This is, this is just going to be a random dungeon you've already done before, and then they'll give you a bunch of XP after, which should level you up. So. Oh no. I have what? no buttons. Uh, what's happening? We're doing a random dungeon that you've already done before. Uh, have I? Yep. You wouldn't let us do this one if you had done, if you hadn't done it yet. Okay. Okay. One or more party members are new to this duty. I thought you said... No, see, we have Frufru over here. He is level 17, because he actually hasn't done this one yet. Oh, so I'm not going to be able to use some of my abilities, or... Yep, some of them will be locked out, but you should be fine. Fucking hell. Roger, I expect you to be able to heal me through any pull. Yes. Oh, uh, don't worry, Frufru. You will not be holding us back. Quickly, let us sprint. Oh, wait, wait. This this will help. This will help. My mistake. My mistake. I'll fix it. What? <laughs> I didn't put on my tank stand, so I wasn't gaining any aggro. Oh. I hit it and it ran off in the distance. <laughs> I apologize. I'm gonna read the memo. Go ahead. Okay. If we've already done this before, I'm not particularly caring whether... Uh, it's gonna be the green one. Thank you. How much experience are you, am I going to get for doing this level 17 dungeon? Because uh, we're doing level. it in the roulette, you'll probably level it. Oh, okay. The daily roulettes give you a You get a bunch XP. of bonus XP at the end. It's like at least a quarter of a level. So you should be fine. I think you might be able to pull more than that, Steve. You sure? Okay. Maybe. We'll try it out. Ah, I got stuck on a mushroom. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna stay here, actually. Yeah, it's probably good enough. Yeah, uh, I don't trust the flame seekers. Uh, it's just an unnecessary amount of damage. Hey, you got a jellyfish and umbrella. Cool. What? Huh? Roger got a Little jellyfish loot. umbrella. Oh. I already got a bat thing and a beast kitten part that I have to potentially get rid of. I was like, what is going on right now? <laughs> get eaten by the clam? No, oh, it goes invulnerable. The clam goes invulnerable if it closes its mouth, but it also is what spawns the little flames so you have to kill it. There we go. Mm, okay. Another flame. Next. I thought the guy was like, let me know if you're holding me if I'm, where I'm holding you back. Like I said he'd be fine. He has I don't know if there's anything he could do that would hold us back. Uh, if you're a really bad DPS, we can have problems with moving forward, but you'd have to be really bad. I feel like that was a shot at me, and I don't appreciate it. No, it wasn't. I was going to say something like, yeah, but luckily Roger's healing right now, but I decided not to say that. That's <laughs> very offensive. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm Oops. a DPS main, okay. Yeah, and you have more commendations than me, I know. Well, yeah, yeah DPS well should get the DP, uh, the commendations. Why would you give it to I'm a tank? Sure, yeah, definitely not the tank who has to get punched in the face the whole thing. Why would you ever do that? Yeah, that doesn't make like, sense whatsoever. Do 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 Because I'm friendlier than you, Steve. That is true. I'm I'm a dick sometimes. 
I thought you mained healing, Steve, so... No. He mains tank. I mained tank. Oh, I better heal you. I was like, huh, Steve's health is going down pretty fast. Yeah, uh, I didn't mean to pull the second group of Seekers. They just sort of came over. That's okay. I barely healed you at all in this area until then. So. Yeah, I threw on camouflage, so I have an incredibly high parry right now. I don't know why in the world I get a 90 second cooldown that reduces damage taken by 10% and increases my parry rate by 50. It's a bit ridiculous. Because magic. It's a level 6 ability, Roger. Kill the clown. Death to Moochie! Alright, I'm trusting you. If I die. What's with the coral formations being things? Oh, he was right. Uh, one of them, in the note that he read, it'll explain that one of them has to be pressed to unlock the secret switch that will then summon the boss. And if you press the wrong one, it gives you the debuff. And gotcha. it summons enemies. And it'll summon enemies, yeah. I, I just focus on the debuff, because the debuff actually hurts. It is like two stacks of vulnerability or something like that. It isn't actually vulnerability, so it can't stack higher than that. I wonder if I'm even gonna have to heal you this fight. I don't have think so. No, I have not healed you at all. I've just been DPSing the boss. Here, I'll uh, pop this so that way it makes it a little easier for me. There we go. And it's. I didn't heal you a single time. I don't understand this. Since since uh, Titan got his testicles removed, <laughs> if we take the cone off him, he will cuddle up to us next to, like, we'll be sitting on the couch, and he will get close to us, and then decide that he's going to try and climb up onto the couch. Unprompted. He has just decided that having the cone off means I can cuddle up. No matter how much we yell at him to get off the couch, he's just like, No, no, I think I should be on the couch right now. Like, Fuck off, dog. You are not allowed here. He's not allowed unless he's invited up, but the problem has that been that he's just inviting himself up lately. That's, that's the problem. He's like, you removed my testicles, so I get to do whatever I want. That's, that's the deal. not how this works. <laughs> These old cuff and comfy couch hours. <laughs> Big comfy couch hours. Yeah. I forgot Cubs that that's come technically come a boss fight. That was a boss fight? Sort of. There was uh. a chest back there. Did anyone open it? Nope. <laughs> uh, so, full room? Full room? Full, full room. Okay, full room. You, uh, you said whatever yes. you want, Steve. We can try it. Why not? But the worst that happens is we all die. I'm fairly certain that they won't be a problem though. Like, I don't think you could pull enough in this dungeon to make it so that I can't spam heal you. I did a full room. I just realized that one of my buttons that I've been pushing pretty consistently is grayed out. <laughs> X. At least I understand why I just stand there not attacking at some points now. That'll do it, I think. And I only noticed it now because this guy was a sliver away from death, and I'm like, why am I not attacking you? Die! Oh, that's why. I keep pushing three, and that's currently not an ability I can use. Yep, I can't use my button three either. No ammunition for me. I just have cure and stone. That's about it. Oh, I have arrow. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's a dot. Who cares about dots? I do. Still do damage. 
I say, wouldn't yeah. that be useful, actually? <laughs> Where are we going? Wave Rider Gate? Yeah. This gate first. Yeah, yeah I don't one. think you could pull enough in this dungeon for me not to be able to heal you. So, I think we'll be good. He makes it sound like a challenge. And it is. Please don't. I don't have superbly, so I can't kill myself either, so... It is superb. He reduces my HP to 1. Well, yeah, please don't do that. It also makes me invulnerable for 8 seconds, which gives you plenty of time oh, to hit yeah, Benediction. I I, hey, Benediction I don't have until, like, level 50, so... Yeah, but I don't get superbolite until level 50, so... Oh. <laughs> you get your control Z button the same time I get my have the healer freak out button. <laughs> yeah, basically, what benediction does it just heals them to up to full, no matter it, what. It, that's what it says. the The ability, the hot, uh, the tooltip is heals them to full HP. Like that's all it says. Gotcha. So. I, I put it on the button that is bound to control Z because I felt like that would be hilarious. This is undo. <laughs> I'm just gonna undo that last tank buster. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now more scurvy ridden puppies are gonna run through that door in a second. Didn't we already kill Captain Madison? No, we yeah. beat him up a bunch and he ran away like a girl. Yeah, he runs yeah, away again, too. He ran away like Captain Madison. You could have set up Look hands. Ah, uh, maybe not. Look at them, they have scarves! And there's a baby! Are you feeling okay? <laughs> it's so sad. You have to kill all his doggies. And look, there's a puppy! Oh, uh, well, now the puppy's dead. Right. See, there's a baby one. One of the scurvy dogs is all tiny. You could probably pull this whole ba, room too. Ba, ba, That's da, permission. Ba, ba, it is. Ba, da, da. It's also a request. Are you saying this group is unnecessary? What are you talking about? They're enemies. This is XP. Oh yeah, right, I have to heal you. Forgot. <laughs> At least a little. Stop running out of range of me and we'll heal. I almost interrupted that cast. That would have been terrible. <laughs> yes, yes it would have. <laughs> Can't even see what I'm attacking. Yeah, my target bar is currently just zooming off screen. <laughs> I see we've got from D to N right now. That's as far as down as it goes. Uh, I see a P and a Q. Yeah, I see an R as well. My bot, my like list only goes down to N now. Which is what happens if you get past Z? What does it, it do? starts over again? Oh. Please don't not line of sight me, that's annoying. I just went over to get this group. The fact that <laughs> you were hiding behind a hole is not my fault. <laughs> it kinda is. I'm not the one who put him there. I could <laughs> pick him up, he's pretty tiny. Just sit on my shoulder right here. No. <clears throat> just Princess Nanamo that shit. Come on, let's go. That would make a lot of things easier, but... You would, wouldn't it? Unnatural whipples. We probably don't even need to worry about the ripples at all. No, if, if anything spawns, just one of them. Hey, there's how we kept kept the scut scheme. Yeah, you yeah. know. He's watching it though, so there's, oh, I was gonna say you could just wait and watch it because he's watching. I have no problem with not waiting to watch the cutscene, although. I wasn't going to continue into battle because I know how it feels to be trying to watch a cutscene and have them defeat the boss while you're watching it. <laughs> I don't want to do that to anybody else. I'll stand on this one just because I can. So you just bring them over at this boss. 
don't run away. I always get really annoyed when people run away from the tank when they pull aggro. What do you think is going to happen? You're running away yeah. from the person who can fix it. What is and what is your plan? <laughs> it's like when the dog tries to get out of the yard. Like, what, what is your plan after you get out of the yard? Are you going to meet a helicopter and fly to Cuba? What is your plan? Obviously. I mean, it's not even going to matter. I don't think any are going to spawn. I was gonna say. Oh, they spawned at the last second. <laughs> they both were like, ha! <laughs> I did lezzle up. Lezzle up. Here you go, Fru Fru. Duty complete. The, the Sultana's lap is no longer sealed. A pair of alkali half gloves have been added. Cast your lot. Can't Roger. get the fucking cap Limit back on this. Huh? Limit break! I don't even have it on my hot bar. Anymore. I never get I the chance. Do it. Here we go. Thanks. I never, I never get the chance to limit break in the tank. <laughs> yeah, for good reason. Fru Fru, here's a commendation for you. We talk about we all had shield wall for a second. That reduced the amount of damage we took. <laughs> yeah, but you said specifically the tank should never limit break. Uh, they do in high end content, but never anything else. Uh, like maybe one high end content thing. No, in a lot of savage raids you have to. Like, in a lot of Savage Raids, if you don't do it, you will wipe due to some I've watched abilities. a lot of Savage Raids, and if you're using the tank LB to make it through a Savage Raid, you shouldn't be doing the Savage Raid. No, oh, some are like, they, they will murder you unless you do it. I mean, I've watched every most recent Savage Raid, and everyone uses the DPS one. What a curious Unless twist everyone... of fate! What Master Sid Garland would at last be found within our church! Beg your pardon, Bex. You wish to find his airship, yes? I know not how much truth there is to it, but there is a tale known as the final flight of the Enterprise. What? Are we going Star Trek here? Holy crap, doing that that roulette thing, I'm almost level 37. Yeah, it gives a lot of a bonus experience. Lots. The Great Gaboo Wall of Ulda, it states that the Enterprise flew northwest from Gerdania towards Kurthus. <laughs> what? I just love that it brings up the Great Gaboo Wall of Ulda, because that's like, that's not an event that happened in game lore, that's something players did. Yeah. What? <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah, so when when the original Final Fantasy XIV was about to go down, everyone got a Gobu mount if you were an original player. And so what they did is everyone got right outside of Ulda and hopped on their Gobu mount and made a giant Gobu wall between a bunch of AI elites and Ulda proclaiming they will protect it. And like they <laughs> totally absorbed that as lore that actually happened, even though it's actually just a player event. <laughs> the group together. That's beautiful. <laughs> uh, okay, so what I'm doing is going there. For the quest, he who waited behind. You have so many quests in your quest log. They're all the level one quests for each individual class. Yeah. So I, I grabbed them all, and then I muted them all, so that way I had them, and I could do them at some point, but I don't have to do them right now. And that's that kind of that's kind of the big reason why I've been not taking the side quests that are popping up, yeah. despite them hurting me, is because I, I'm hoping that I can like go around and do those for another class at some point. Yeah, stuff just sitting in my quest log would uh, drive me insane. Oh, I have them muted. So I, I mean, I don't look at my quest log unless I accidentally click on the quest instead of the actual thing underneath it. So. 10 quests in my quest log, just waiting for me to go do them. I have 1, 2, one 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, 16, 17. Oh, wait! <laughs> I just scrolled up. <laughs> <coughs> Never mind, I have more. You know what just tells you how many you have in the bottom corner, right? I realized that when I counted out. 16 and then went wait this is 20 of 30 does this mean i could only have 30 active quests at once correct yep. oh maybe 
Maybe I should go around and do all these firsts. Oh well. Is there aught I can assist you with, miss? The Enterprise? You speak of Master Garland's ship, yes? Aye, I, I needn't refer to the records. I know that airship was sighted overhead five years ago, clearly bound for Corvus. What became of it after, I cannot say. If you wish to know more, pray speak to Vortifart at Florence Spire. <laughs> he's very gassy, but he's on duty, and he will show you the way. Holy dirty. Speak with the farter at the float. Speak with the float farter. That's how he stays aloft. Someone's attempting to do binding coil. It's not gonna happen. What's binding coil? Uh, the level 50 raid. No one's, no one does it. Just no one. It's way too hard for anyone to be bothered. I would do it unsynced. I don't think they're trying to do it unsynced. Let me uh, see what their level is. I'm pretty sure they're level 50. They're level 57. They're not doing it unsynced. Oh. <laughs> yeah, is no. it a story <laughs> quest? It, it's uh, it's the big, big raid that happened at the end of AR. It is very cool and interesting, but it is just... The amount of difficulty to get it done makes it so almost no one is willing to try and do it. Especially not unsynced. And especially not synced, I mean. You've come in search of Vort Fart. Then well met, for you've found him. Indeed, I have served her as a whaler for many years, since before the great snows came to Curthus. You know why there's no snows anymore? Global warming. The final flight of the Enterprise. I do indeed remember that day. Tell me. Make me accept a new quest. Just tell me. It was on the eve of the Battle of Cotonou, nigh on five years ago. I held the spire alone that night. You held it? Are you sure you held it? The most fantastic airship I'd ever seen splits the sky. That's when my gas started. The astrologians at the observatorium may have records which could help. Wait. Did they actually go to space? Hmm. This is actually the Starship Enterprise? Have I been to Corthus? By the way, Steve, to be a mentor, you have to do a thousand dungeons, not five hundred. Oh, rectum. Oh, the snowy areas, that's right, that's right. I need to go south. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So I wonder if Steve remembers that he's muted or if he's actually, like, gone away. I think he might be gone away. It's about 50-50 anytime Steve mutes his mic. It's true. He always never remembers, I don't understand. I think that's what happens when you have it bound to a button that you could accidentally press. I feel like a lot of the times he accidentally presses it and then doesn't realize it. I don't even remember what button I bound it to. It was like control something. I don't, I don't remember. Control Q? Nope. Nope, not sure. <clears throat> Dragon head. Fifty-five 
Fichte Dicastero Observatorium of Ethereal and Astrological something or other. There's a lot happening out there. Yes. Ludevois. Welcome back. Uh, we weren't sure if you'd forgotten that you'd muted yourself or what had happened. Uh, no, I said I'd be right back. I just wanted to go get a drink. By the way, Steve, you have to do a thousand dungeons to be a mentor and not five hundred. There's only three hundred. Nope. You have to get that a thousand dungeons achievement. Excuse me, can you repeat that? Oh, no, no, no. You wish to offer your services to House Durandare? And what, pray tell, do you wish to receive in exchange? Ha! <laughs> How absurd as if we would permit an outsider to peruse the records of the observatorium. Do not mistake our courtesy for friendliness. The Holy See of Ishgard may allow foreigners to travel freely within its lands. But they do not intend to offer succor to strangers. The Unending War. Halone, have mercy, are you still there? What, what, did you close your eyes or something? You may take shelter within our walls if you insist, but do not distract me while I am on duty. We are stretched thin as it is. And where in the hells is that knight I sent out on patrol? He should have returned ages ago. Perhaps I have a use for you after all. If you still wish to aid us, search the wilds for the west. For my missing man. Don't worry, I will find your boyfriend, and I will reunite you two. Whoa! I stepped out the gates and epic music started. Are you in combat? No, it's Dragonhead's music. Healed overnight. Oh no, hooded assaulter. You keep your salt away. Pushing the wrong button. There definitely was two of them. There was totally two of them. You killed one of them, which I appreciate. <laughs> no. It was only one. Only one assaulter. Don't worry, I'm aiding the knight. If it wasn't for you, miss, I reckon they would have finished me off. Despicable dragon-loving bastards. Hey, hey, hey! I happen to be one of those dragon-loving bastards. Oh, he faded off into existence. Holy crap. The amount of defense you have compared to mine is sickening. <laughs> what? I'm looking I'm at your 70. gear. You are level 36. Ah, there it is. The ether, the aetherite earring. It's only one defense more than mine. Ha ha! <laughs> You're not all they cracked up to be. <laughs> all earrings are either zero or one. <laughs> just healed me for 6,000. That would be me. That's just my regen. My actual heals do way more. That's six times my total health. <coughs> <coughs> I must say, I didn't actually expect you to find my knight, much less rescue him. I see I may have been premature on my judgment, miss. We are a proud people, beholden to tradition. I shall instruct the astrologians to entertain your request. However, understand that is ultimately their decision whether or not you may peruse their records. What? Oh, that's just my region. My actual heals do 12,000. Are you both white mages now? He's a scholar. See, I got a book. I can read things. 
My shield is eight thousand, which is five, seven thousand, which I find really. Impressive. See, aren't you? Don't you also have light mage though? Yeah. I also have scholar too. But... You keep that nest on a stick away from me. There, fifteen nine nine nine. Sixteen two oh seven. Yep. Or control Z. <laughs> 12, control, 12, 4, 4. control Z. Control Z. Don't worry. I'm talking to Edamame. Edamame. Ah, uh, the lady coming third to the airship. This is highly unorthodox. Whatever could Sir Ludvois be thinking? It is true that we maintain meticulous records with stretched back generations. However, because this information is used to chart Dravanian activity, access is strictly controlled. One can never be too careful with heretics and their sympathizers working about. If you would persist with your inquiries, pray seek an audience with Chief Astrologian Fallamot up above. Okay. What did your pet do? When you were talking, it did something. It shit the bed. Oh, it turns oh, into like a container when it's not moving. Because, uh... Don't pet my... How dare you. <laughs> I made it do it again. Not on my screen. I made it do it again on my screen. Oh, but not um, on my pet. Anyways, uh, it's a it's a it's a it's a tanuki. it's a tanuki, and tanukis have magical powers, and they can uh, shapeshift. So it makes perfect sense that it could turn into a pot. I that guess. pot, by the way, would be tanukis its scrotum, have gigantic. Which I believe is what you were going to say. They have gigantic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you've ever, uh, oh fuck, what what movie is it? What it's a Ghibli film. Um, about the Tanukis, they used their giant scrotums in order to <laughs> shapeshift. Gotcha. Well, it's actually um, Japanese lore as well, so. Well, I know yes, I, I, is a Japanese studio, but at the same time, like that's the actual Japanese lore is the exact same story. Uh, Pompoko. Push. It was a good movie. It was, it's just, it's very weird, and when well, that's you probably understand where, uh, this, this name the... came from. Oh, yeah, that's a fair point. I. I yeah, uh, definitely would be the case, yeah, I would think. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a good movie. It's just weird. And when you understand the lore of the Tanuki, it makes sense why it's weird. Oh, cutscene! Oh, wow. Oh, crap. Were our records to fall into the wrong hands, it could change the course of a war which has raged for generations. I speak not of some mere spat between southern nations. Ours is a holy crusade, and we are the arbiters of Halon's will. I will not put our great nation at risk, certainly not to help a foreigner locate a missing airship of all things. Pardon the intrusion, Fallamont. I wish to speak with you regarding the recent... Oh, well, I didn't realize you had a guest. Inquisitor Gaeum, you honor us with your presence, sir. The lady was just leaving. Ah, you must be the one who rescued House Durandare's knight from those heretics. Doubtless they feel indebted to you. I am told you seek an airship last seen in Curthus five years ago, yes? You come to us in an inconvenient time, I fear. Much has changed in the intervening years, and little for the better. While I wish you the best of luck in your search, I would also strongly advise caution. The snows can come quickly in Curthus. One moment you may feel as though you have a firm grasp on your surroundings, safe and secure in your knowledge. And the next you may find yourself in a wholly unfamiliar situation, blind to the dangers hidden by the blizzard. It would be wise for you to focus on a single landmark whilst travelling. Do not give in to temptation, and deviate from your course. 
Well, the single target is the airship that I'm looking for. I was not aware you aided House and Dare in that fashion. Thank you, madam. Nevertheless, my decision stands. I cannot give you what you seek. Well, this was a pointless endeavor, wasn't it? What the fuck is happening out there? I leveled up. I'll go talk to Josha if Farlamon won't help me. Because <laughs> that's what I assume is going to happen. Josha is attempting to attract your attention. Nope, not interested. <laughs> I refute your claim. I like the fact that she's turned away from me, so she's flashing her backside trying to get my attention. Yoo-hoo! I don't appreciate <laughs> no, the this. The quickest way to get back down is to go keep going up. Uh, what? The quickest way to get back down is to go keep going up. You there, madam. I could not help but overhear your conversation with the chief astrologian. There was a, there may be a way I can assist you, but it would require that you perform for me a favor. Listen, I am not about that life. Vieras hold their, uh, you know, in, in high regard. What's the matter, Freya? What's your matter, girl? Talking about the ears. Don't talk about the ears. Oh, God, she heard me. <laughs> Have you seen my ears? Of course I heard you. An associate of mine is yet to return from his expedition on the cliffs of the Observatorium. He was adamant that he could conduct his observations alone, despite his presence of Ixal in the vicinity. It would see if, if you would seek out this astrologian and confirm he is well, it would be a great comfort to me. Oh, you weren't flirting with me. You were trying to get my attention so that you could flirt with your boyfriend. <coughs> Just go to the top. Okay, I've got a hundred health, and I'm healed. <laughs> hang, hang on. What was that? That spell was called a size. Are you making fun of my weight? <laughs> I got down. Maybe. Get down, which girlfriend? That ain't right. There's an igloo over here. I forgot there were igloos in this area. There's also one really depressed uh, one snowman. Yes. Snowman. <laughs> I'm still viable. No, you're not. Oh. Or Eeyore. <laughs> Eeyore's a little more deeper in his uh, voice. I don't know that I can actually another do it. <laughs> I'm just going to run these guys over. We'll be fine. Established Man, really astrologian. Good. I like that he's established. What a relief to see someone other than a god's damned bird man. I thought I could finish my work whilst the Ixal, Ixal were away, but they returned far quicker than I anticipated. It was all I could do to hide and hope they would leave. You You think this is hidden? They can... F well, they're dead now, but they could freaking see you, dude. Not anymore, they can't. <laughs> That's what he was waiting for. He was just hiding until someone walked up there and murdered them. <laughs> Wait, who was... are you? You're not one of our knights. A man of House Durandare cannot be seen in the company of an unbeliever. Good day, madam. Unbeliever... I believe you Oops, mean a true believer. Excelsior! What did you just do? Did you dimension the dice? What was that? <laughs> I drew a card. That's all it was. Is that a thing? Is that a... Yeah, there's a Yu-Gi-Oh class where you draw cards. And play I hit slash draw. It didn't work. Because you're not an astrologian. <laughs> they are astrologians. They are Yu-Gi-Oh enthusiasts. <clears throat> oh, are they saying that I have to actually switch classes in order to continue no. with the quest? Okay, good. <laughs> you can't, technically, that Astro be... wasn't even a class you could be until Heaven's Sword. So. Oh, uh, okay. 
That would be annoying. There's a question. Um, w- will it be obvious when I finish A Realm Reborn and I would be moving into Heaven's Ward? Yes. Yeah. Is there like a 10 hour cutscene that we have to watch when that happens? The credits uh... roll at the end of AR. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then there'll be credits that roll at the end of Heaven's Ward. Trust me, you'll notice. <laughs> I would be surprised if you did not. What are these words going across the screen? You yeah, who cares? Game. <laughs> if only I could read. <laughs> Why is no one on a mount? Uh, mounts are for the week. I'm not getting off. I'm not getting off. <laughs> um, I'm enjoying the actual music of this area, which is why I've not been using the mount as often. You can turn off mount music if you get bored. I'll turn off your music. I'm just saying you can turn off mount music and leave area music on. How? Uh, it's under systems. Uh, let, me, let me let me let me find it again. I've got. I know it's. I know big it's big game music, sound effects, voice, system sounds, ambient sounds, and performance sounds. Uh, Play see. music when mounted. There it is. <laughs> yep, that's it. That's the mount music. Play sounds when window window is not active. Oh, I didn't realize I could keep the fucking music on. Ugh. Yeah, you can also this entire time music. enable normal battle music. I don't think I care about that. That oh, I guess it depends. I'll the leave battle it music in later expansions is pretty good, so I leave it on. Play system sounds while waiting for duty finder. I don't particularly care. I have that on so that way if you alt tab and you're not looking at it, the duty finder noise will pop up. Well, to be fair, until just now. If I alt tabbed, no sound played because I didn't realize that that was a feature I could actually turn on. Because most games, if it is something, it's on and you have to turn it off, not the other way around. You're not looking for Fallmon? No, I'm looking for Josha. She's right here. The arrogant fool returned not long before you arrived, muttering about the disgrace of having been rescued by an unbeliever. Serves him right for undermesta uh, aiding. <laughs> Undermesticating. <laughs> Undermesticating. He chokes on his food, he chokes on his beliefs. Oh, actually, that worked. <laughs> ah, but you are eager to locate your airship. It may surprise you that by saving him, you have already aided your own cause. House Duradere is quick to regard outsiders with suspicion, as it is their duty to sound the alarm at the first sign of Dravian aggression. Yet you have already aided them twice, for which they are honor bound to repay you. Ah, even so they will not grant you access to the observatorium's records. That is just as well, for there are other ways you might locate your missing ship. What I propose is that you petition Lord Portalane for an official introduction to the High Houses. Okay. I don't know what that means, but okay. An introduction to the High Houses, obviously. Time to calm down. I want to get high, so high. Do you just jump off the roof? Yep. It's way faster than, uh... Are they in here? Oh, yes. Hello, Portalane. You caused quite a stir in your short time here. First you slay two heretics and save a night, and now here you've rescued a man of our house. I imagine you must desire something for your troubles. An introduction to the other high houses. I cannot deny that you have given us no cause to distrust you. But while you've performed two acts, you would have me endorse you to three high houses. It is only fitting that you aid us one final time, wouldn't you agree? Ah, uh, maybe. Do 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 do. Well, before we do that, I think it's well time for a little break.